Okay, so this is problem 10.2.77. They want us to use rational exponents, which are fractional exponents, to write the fourth root of 8 times the cube root of 5 as a single radical expression. So I'm going to write that a little bigger so you can see it. So that's the fourth root of 8 times the cube root of 5. Okay, if we're going to write these as a single radical expression, then the indices have to be the same, and they're not right now. There's a fourth root here and a third root there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first of all go ahead and convert. And converting these, this is 8 to the 1 fourth power and 5 to the 1 third power. And that's just rewriting them with rational exponents. And the ones are coming from the exponents on our numbers there underneath there. It's just a one. So we actually need a common denominator here. And uh, in, in order to get these to be the same index, that would mean these having the same denominator. Okay, so common denominator here is 12. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply in such a manner to get a common denominator of 12. So the 1 fourth is going to get multiplied by 3 over 3, and the 1 third is getting multiplied by 4 over 4. So that gives me 8 to the 3 twelfths and 5 to the 4 twelfths. Okay. And now that we have a common denominator, we can actually bring these back into the radical form. This is the twelfth root of 8 to the third power and 5 to the fourth power. And um, they, I'm not sure whether they want this multiplied out or not, but if they did, then you would just take 8 to the 3rd and 5 to the 4th and enter that. Uh, they might be asking for it to be left in this form right here <clears throat> in my math lab. So, um, but either way, this would be your, either this or multiplying those values out would be your answer. They did want a single radical expression, and that, that is this. Okay, so that's it in this problem.